Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use green screens in iMovie. Now, I did do a video on this when it first came out, the feature was released not too long ago, and it's quite new and exciting for iMovie since this is something iMovie was lacking on. But now that they have the feature, I just think it makes iMovie so much better and so much more worth it for content creators who use their phones. In the past, I wouldn't really recommend iMovie to any editors just because of its lack of features, but now I think it's really impressive and it has been improved a lot. So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at the green screen feature and just going in depth into how to use it and everything it entails. So let's get into iMovie and start this video. So I'm going to go into a project here. And this is just an animated outro kind of video that I made. I'll have it linked in the card up top. So it's just a tutorial on how to make an animated outro. This was just a quick example. So what you want to do to add a green screen to your video. So you have your main video that you want to import into your project. And then when you click on this plus button here, you want to go to video and find your green screen in your photos library. So here you can see here at the bottom, I have this green screen and this is the one that I'm going to be using in my video. So what you want to do is you want to tap on the video. You can also drag these edges to trim it a bit if you want it to. So I'm going to trim it to where my subscribe button comes in. So here and to where it goes out of my video. So here. And then what you want to do is you want to select these three dots. You don't want to click on the plus button because if you click on the plus button, it's just going to add it as a normal clip. So you don't want to do that. So you want to click on these three dots and then you have all these options. Now you have cutaway picture and picture split screen, but you want to click on blue slash green screen or green slash blue screen. Tap on that. And as you can see, it put it as an overlay over my video. And it's as easy as that. So that is basically the gist of how just to get that. But now let's take a different green screen with a different type of green background and see what it does. Okay, so I'm going to go into my photo library again and find the green screen that has a different type of green. So here you can see this is the green screen I'm going to add now. As you can see, they're quite different. This one has a more saturated green than this one. So I'm going to tap on this one again. I'm going to trim it again to where I want it to start and where I want it to end. And I'm going to click on these three dots again and click on green slash blue screen. As you can see, this looks a little faded. Now, if you want to change the look of it, you can tap on this clip here. And here at the top, you have this controls. So you have this one here, which you can use to crop the green screen if you'd like, if you want to crop out a certain part of it. And then the top controls is to edit the look of the green screen. So you can select the strength of how hard, harsh it is to remove the green. So here you can see it's now complete. It looks more vibrant now. This one looked a little more meshy, but this one looks more vibrant. And if I go all the way to here, you can clearly see some green outline here. So yeah, you want to toggle the strength of it until you have your desired look. So you can see when it goes full strength, it doesn't have any green around it at all. Now, a question that I often got is how to move your green screen. And sadly, iMovie does not have the feature to move a green screen, which is really sad. And I know that is a bummer, but I'm going to be showing you guys real quick an easy way for you to be able to move your green screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my green screen in photos. And I'm going to take a screenshot of my video, like so. So I'm going to go into over and I'm going to click on this plus button here at the bottom. I'm going to click on transparent and then I'm going to go until I find the YouTube thumbnail template. Since that is the size I can use for a video and I'm going to add that screenshot to the template. So by clicking on image down here, now I'm just going to zoom in until I have that green, like so going to click on the correction mark in top right and click here and save that photo. Now I'm going to go back into iMovie and I'm going to create a new project, click on movie and I'm going to import that green screen like here and click on create movie. So I have just this blank green now and then you want to click on the plus button and add your green screen that you want to be able to move around. So I'm going to click on videos again and find that green screen. So here it is at the bottom. Click on the three dots here and click on picture in picture. 
So my green screen, I'm going to click on the clip here. I'm going to remove the border by clicking on this square. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the drag position. I'm going to make it bigger and place it like in the middle, like so. And then I'm going to export this. I know there's a black border, but we're going to edit that out later. I'm going to click on done. And I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to go back into my other project and we're going to import that green screen that we just made by clicking on the plus button, going to video and finding that video. Click on the three dots and then select green slash blue screen. Now you see this is what it looks like, but you see you have your little black border. What do you want to do then? Click on the clip, click on the crop option here and just crop out that part. So I'm just going to go like so. And like this. And now I have my green screen moved to a different part. I know that it looks a little weird, but some green screens, it will look better. So yeah, that is what it looks like. It's really easy, really simple. So that's how you can move your green screen without actually having to move it. I know it's a few more steps, but it is worth it in the long run. So that is something that you can do if you want to. So yeah, that is entirely how to use green screens on iMovie. I hope you guys did enjoy it and found it helpful. I know this is something that a lot of people struggle with and that is really hard to do. But yeah, now you know how to do it. Let me know if this method helped you or if you have any other methods. Yeah, definitely know in the comments down below. And definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other YouTube tips and tricks videos like other tutorials and things like this and click on the video to my previously uploaded video thank you guys so much be weird and be proud of it bye